This is my reaction to Tommy Johansson performing Show Me the Meaning of Being Lonely, originally by the Backstreet Boys. This is a metal version music video. Let's commence. Show me Let me interrupt you for one solitary second, Tommy J. I am absolutely digging this revamp of some old school BSB action. Ladies and gentlemen, Backstreet Boys, are you kidding me? Tommy Johansson is giving us the metal treatment of a classic throwback BSB song. When it comes to boy bands back in the day, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, which one would win? I actually think it would be a draw. Both those outfits having some really classic jams back in the day. I was always a Metallica fan, so, you know, I sneered and scoffed at the boy bands when I was younger. But, you know, in retrospect, but even back then, secretly, I was uh, very appreciative of the songs these, you know, boy bands provided us and the girl bands as well. But Tommy Johansson just launching into this and already, this is just what metal does. Metal takes pop and makes it so punchy and so awesome. And now you have Tommy Johansson giving us the Backstreet Boys vibe. Come on, you cannot go wrong. Your every wish will be done. They tell me, show me the This sounds fantastic, I'm telling you. They always, you know, take these pop jams. When metal artists take these pop jams, they just make them so fantastic. Just completely rework it. And you just add that sort of aggro awesomeness to it. But at the same time, you just, you know, retain the soul and the DNA of the track. But you just make it more epic. That's what it's all about. Tommy's voice sounding so operatic, sounding so smooth, sounding so awesome. This young man, ugh, I mean, on that guitar, this arrangement, I'm absolutely digging this, you know, instrumental arrangement. And I'm absolutely digging his vocal performance. He's showing us those chops here. I'm sure he's going to give us even more as the track progresses. This is sounding magnificent so far it's gonna keep rolling That was just another small taster of how awesome this young man's voice is. You know, just taking that note and just making it do wondrous things there. I'm absolutely in love with his guitar work on this track, ladies and gentlemen. I told you, man, I remember this original song. You know those Backstreet Boys music videos from back in the day? They're usually so earnest, yet at the same time so, I don't know... <laughs> 
It just seems like they're just absolutely messing with you in those music videos. But the track was cool, and Tommy's just making the track even cooler. I just absolutely love his vocals in this. He's soaring with it. He's not holding back. This isn't, you know, some comedy track. You might get the feeling that it's, you know, being treated like a bit of a joke, but no, this is a serious rework of this song, and this is seriously, you know, kicking some real tushy. That's the thing. It is. This is absolutely rocking. Just to take you back a little bit, that was some solo action there by Tommy Joanne's and Solo Boys. There was absolutely nothing missing from Tommy Johansson's version of Show Me the Meaning of Being Lonely. He showed me the meaning of rocking out with that performance, ladies and gentlemen. That was just so spectacularly on point. Just made the song such a juggernaut of just, you know, crunching riffs and just great melodic singing by this young man. Just not slipping up one bit with that performance. This isn't a joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is serious business. This is awesome music being given to you, being, you know, provided to you, you know, in a wonderful metal package by the young man himself, Tommy J. I'm proud of that one, Tommy. I'm proud of that performance, man. You made that song just levels, levels, and more levels awesome than it already was in its original incarnation. Tommy J just absolutely keeping it rocking along oh so smoothly with that performance. That was a phenomenal version of the song, man. You gotta give me a minute to just let that one sink in. Show Me the Meaning of Being Lonely, a song by American boy band Backstreet Boys. It was taken from their third studio album, Millennium, which came out in 1999. Everyone so nervous about, you know, that switch over to the year 2000. Everyone, you know, scared of the pending Y2K stuff. You know, do you remember that time? It was, you know, it was, it was crazy. It was just all sorts of craziness. But during the period, lots of acts, you know, artists releasing some really good music. And the Backstreet Boys also doing it with this track. The song was written by Max Martin and Herbie Krishlau with production by Martin and Christian London and it operated in the genres of pop, R&B and Latin pop as well. But the thing is, Tommy Johansson just used that original song as an inspiration and he went off in his own direction there, just giving us the metal vibe, metal fying this thing and absolutely making this thing grow. I mean, if this song initially, let me put it to you this way, if this song was initially 5 foot 11 inches tall, then Tommy Johansson just made this thing seven, in, 7 foot 1 inch tall. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. Don't mess with me. He just absolutely smashed this one out of the park. I enjoyed that version. That was fantastic. Backstreet Boys, often abbreviated BSB, is an American vocal group consisting of Nick Carter, Howie Dora, AJ McLean, and cousins Brian Littrell and Kevin Richardson. They were formed in 1993, ladies and gentlemen, in Orlando, Florida. They operated in the genres of pop, dance pop, R&B, teen pop, and adult contemporary. And they've been active from 1993 to the present day. That's what I'm learning here. The Backstreet Boys are still going, man. That's actually 
No, 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 we must follow this up. How the heck are the Backstreet Boys still doing their thing? Yes, I'm checking here and their last album was A Very Backstreet Christmas, which was released in 2022. And before that, they had an album called DNA in 2019. So they've been, you know, they've been keeping at it. They've been, you know, staying on that grind and keeping that Backstreet Boys legacy going. Like I said, I, I don't know if I... The thing is, I always thought Howie was the leader. For some odd reason, I always fixated on the fact that Howie is the leader of the Backstreet Boys. You know, if Howie himself says there's no leaders, all of us, we're in it together, then fair enough. But Howie's the leader and I'm sticking to that. The Backstreet Boys, you know, a very well-known band doing their thing. They're still going strong, but the one going uber strong is Tommy Johansson, Tommy J. This this version of the song here was just fantastic stuff. His arrangement abilities, his guitar playing abilities, his singing abilities, his ability to entertain us watching him. I mean, come on, it's just on point. This young man just continues to impress me with every performance. That was another fiery banger by Tommy Johansson. That was another smashing performance. Tommy Johansson showed me the meaning of rocking out. That was incredible.